Well, it's one for the money and two for the show and three to get ready. So let's go, cat, go. I'd like to congratulate everybody on surviving September 11th, 2016, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And I'd like to talk to you here now about economics, the economy, money, currency, and the endless supply of stupidity and pride that saturates the world with its troublesome liquidity. I'm very glad you've joined me on this beautiful day. Now, I haven't been making very many videos on the economy lately. My whole thing before was they're not going to raise interest rates from zero. And yes, after eight years, they raised it a whole 0.25%. And then, dang, I was wrong. I looked like a total fool. But I can live with it. And so I've been like, okay, yeah, great. There ain't much to talk about unless a crash happens or Federal Reserve quantitative easing is announced. And where there have been rumors of QE and rumors of rumors of QE, it has not happened yet. And so, as I predicted, without a new QE, quantitative easing, the markets would fluctuate between like 17.5 and the Dow Jones and 18.8, somewhere in there. And now, all of a sudden, markets are dropping. And from the futures this morning, it looks like markets are going to continue to drop. And in financial terms, there are two holidays left before the end of the year. That is the October surprise. Like, surprise! Something shitty happened. It's like a bad surprise party. And then the big one where everybody makes their dough. Cash, money, yen, renimbi, or titties is the Santa Claus rally. Hell, that's what you might as well name the economy we're in now. The Santa Claus rally that has been going on since 2008. Markets always up, which is what they said would happen in an infinite growth economy. So I guess all I'm saying in this video is that the USA FED ain't announced any new QE yet and markets are dropping. Why? I don't know. A lot of times, those fancy new financial instruments that were created from the monolith found on Mars have self-destruct buttons built into that. You may have double-checked your synthetic debt obligation. You may not have fully understood the legalese of why this is a wick that can be set on fire and knocks down all the dominoes. But you know what I was thinking? At this point, we're like, the poor and the middle class are just fucking angry. They're angry at the rich. They're angry at whoever doesn't look like them or believe in the things they believe in or like the things that they like. Everybody's mad at everybody for being different or living somewhere different or listening to something different or wanting something different. The poor and the middle class are pretty uh, occupied. Now, the rich, they're kind of scared. They're like, holy shit, this can't continue. And the middle class and the lower class they're getting pissed off and angry. They're getting a little restless. And while they're super uber rich, they're crazy. Now, it's a, it's a matter of who's winning. The good crazy, the bad crazy, or the neutral crazy. And then there's the old solar system money. And they got really long-term plans in play. And I gotta just say, yo, I see an opening here for honest-to-goodness living world peace and a brand new system that stands the test of time for a thousand years. That this old junkyard caveman keep up with the Joneses, slit your neighbor's throat, and go to church on Sunday, corporate capitalism, Wall Street Inquisition, is spinning off the rails. But here at this point where all the timelines are converging, it's hearts, spirits, voices, and ideas that will win the day. So don't give up hope. Don't give up your dreams. And don't believe with certainty that these are the end times. Because humanity will still be standing next year, my friend. And the year after that. So it seems like a wonderful time to come together as an Earth family. And make some pretty good plans that benefit everyone. A beautiful dream world stands right before us in the future. And the only thing keeping us from it is the way we think and the way we believe about our fellow man.
there's never been a better time for Earth and Earthlings to come together as one to take the energy and resources that we put into war and hatred and put that same resources and energy into making Earth an amazing place and fixing all the shit that got broken over the last 2,000 years. So I invite you to evolve and join my dream renaissance. There's a good chance everything will turn out awesome. See it with your mind's eye. Ask God if what I say is true. You don't have to look to a book. Ask him with your own heart and soul. You tell me what he said or what she said. <laughs> That's just my opinion, my two cents. God bless everyone. May the force be with you always. Live long and prosper. Peace out. Stay cool and be a genius if you can. I don't know if you know this, Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here, to so stick around. We've got a video message. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have a... Totally. Party dance time.